how to make your presentation powerful and pithy. Why don't you take a live presentation that you delivered, or it could be a rehearsal for an important presentation, have it transcribed. What you want to look for are the repetitive frames and phrases that we all use. Look at how many times you say I, whereas perhaps you could say you. Look at the fuzzy, non-specific language. After all, it isn't a bunch unless it's fruit. It's not tons if you can't weigh it, and a thing has no value. Look at the words that you use to see if you could make them picture words. For example, if you had a phrase, I walked into the boss's office. Well, walk has a picture. If you say, I raced into the boss's office, I sauntered into the boss's office, I staggered into the boss's office. Each of those pictures change the scene of the story that the audience sees. We all have cliches. Now, some cliches from popular culture, when they are new, they are interesting. However, when they have been used for too many years, they become eye-rolling and numbing. For example, at the end of the day, think outside the box. These are phrases that are part of the business culture that are now boring. So make sure you're not using cliches that are no longer classics. You might also want to look at when you're talking about people and you are reporting on what they said, could you deliver the dialogue? So for example, I was just reading a blog post from one of my friends and he said, well, when I was a kid, my, my dad had a store and he used to tell me. I suggested that he rewrite this and deliver, my dad said, and deliver the dialogue. You can shrink the story and it will come alive on the page. You might also want to look the order you put together your presentations. When, where, who, what happens. For example, if you said, my dad had a store when I was a kid. If you began the sentence with, when I was a kid, that is putting what follows in the context. My dad had a store. Look at what is the setup phrase that puts what follows in the context and what is the impact phrase or what is most important. If you have your presentation transcribed, you can read what came out of your mouth. And if you are reading the transcript and you see one sentence is three lines, you know the audience will not remember and be able to repeat what you said. One idea, a sentence. The written word is for the eye. The spoken word is for the rhythm. That's what Bill Gove, the first president of the National Speakers Association, taught me, and it's very important. Look at a transcript. Take a closer look. Take out the redundancies, the repetition, the non-specific language, and then internalize your new, tightened, more specific way. I promised your audience will love it.